Let us now learn how to find out the highest common factor of the given numbers. Highest common factor of two or more given numbers is the highest number which exactly divides all the numbers. So HCF is nothing but the highest number which can divide all the given numbers. For example, 4 is the highest common factor of 12 and 16. That means 4 here is the highest number which can divide 12 as well as 16 and that too it is an exact division. So therefore there is no number which is less than 4 which can exactly divide both 12 as well as 16. Let us try to understand this point in an illustrative manner. The given numbers here are 12 and 16. So let us find out the factors of these two numbers. As discussed earlier, the factors are those numbers which can exactly divide the given number. So the factors of 12 would be 1, 2, 3, 4, 6 and 12. Whereas the factors of 16 are 1, 2, 4, 8 and 16. So the factors of these two numbers have been obtained. Let us now look at the common factors for these two numbers. So the common factors here are 1, 2 and 4. And our interest here is the highest common factor. So out of all these common factors for 12 and 16, the highest is 4. So we can say that the HCF of 12 and 16 will be equal to 4. So hence, 4 is the largest number that can divide both 12 and 16. There is no number which is greater than 4 and can divide both 12 and 16. So this is how we can understand the meaning of highest common factor. But again, this cannot be taken as a standard procedure of finding out the highest common factor. Why? Because if the numbers are large, let's say the given numbers are 1, 12 and 4, 16, then listing down all the factors of 1, 12 and 4, 16, then finding out the highest common factor would become a very lengthy task. So let's understand what is the simplest way of finding out highest common factor for the given two numbers. The best method here is to go for continuous division till the remainder becomes zero. Let us understand that with the help of this example. We have to find out the HCF of 12 and 16. What we need to do here is divide the larger number by the smaller number. That means we need to start the division of the given two numbers. That means 16 should be divided by 12. Now this division process has to be continued till the remainder becomes 0. Let us see how to do this. 12 1 times is 12 and the remainder is 4. But as I have already mentioned, the division process should be continued till the remainder becomes 0. Here, the remainder is equal to 4. So, the division has to be continued. How do we continue that? This remainder 4 will become the divisor and the earlier divisor will become the dividend. That means 12 will come in place of the dividend. So, 12 comes here. And now, the division has to be continued. We know that 4 3 times is equal to 12 and the remainder would be 0. Now since the remainder is 0, we can stop the division process here. And the last divisor is the highest common factor. For example, the last divisor or the divisor that gave the remainder 0 is equal to 4. So 4 is nothing but the HCF of 12 and 16. So the answer here should be 4. And that is what we had obtained in the illustrative manner. So what we need to do here is take the two numbers, divide the larger by the smaller and continue the procedure till the remainder becomes 0. And if the remainder is not 0, then we have to continue the division in such a way that the previous divisor becomes the new dividend till the remainder is equal to 0. Let us take one more example to understand the procedure of finding out highest common factor. Let's say we have to find out the HCF of 11 and 3. Now, as discussed, what we need to do here is divide the larger number by the smaller number and continue the division till the remainder becomes 0. So here, 3 should divide 11. Now, we know that 3 into 3 is 9, the remainder is 2. But since the remainder is not 0, we have to continue the procedure. So 2 becomes the divisor and the earlier divisor becomes the dividend. So 3 comes in place of dividend now. So 2 1 times is 2 and again the remainder is 1. Now again the remainder is not equal to 0 so the division has to be continued and now 2 becomes the new dividend. So 1 into 2 is equal to 2 and the remainder becomes 0. So the last divisor that gave the remainder 0 was 1. So we can say that the highest common factor of 11 and 3 is equal to 1. In general remember friends whenever the remainder is 1 that itself will be the highest common factor. 
Why? Because once we get 1 as the remainder, whatever be the new divided, always the remainder in the next step will be 0. So once we get 1 in the remainder, that itself can be taken as the highest common factor. One more point that we need to understand here is both 11 and 3 are prime numbers. We know what are prime numbers. Prime numbers are those numbers which have got exactly two factors, 1 and the number itself. And for prime numbers, the highest common factor is always 1. So strictly speaking, this division process is not required to find out the HCF of 11 and 3. Since they are both prime in nature, we can directly say that the answer has to be 1. But this example was taken only so that we can understand the division process. So this is how we find out the HCF of two numbers. Simply understand that finding out HCF is a continuous division process. And this division has to be continued till the remainder is equal to 0. Whenever the remainder is not equal to 0, that remainder should be taken as the new divisor and the earlier divisor should be taken as the new dividend. And the procedure has to be continued till the remainder becomes 0. Let us now see how to find out the highest common factor of more than two numbers. As we know that HCF is a division process and division involves only two numbers. One is the dividend and the other is the divisor or the numerator and the denominator. So how to find out the HCF for three numbers is an important question. For example, let's say the three numbers are A, B and C. Now at a given point of time, we can find out the HCF of only two numbers. So to find out the HCF of three numbers, what we need to do here is, first of all, consider the two numbers A and B and find out the HCF. Let's say the HCF of A and B is equal to D. And then we need to take this answer with the left out number C and find out the new HCF. So the final answer that is HCF of A, B, C will be equal to HCF of D and C. So this is how we can find out the HCF of three numbers. First of all, take two numbers and get the HCF and then with the answer and the left out number again get the new HCF. So this new HCF that we get is the HCF for all the three numbers. Let us take an example to understand this. Let's say we have to find out the highest common factor of 10, 35 and 50. Now what we can do here is find out the HCF of two numbers. Let's take 10 and 35. Preferably always go for two smaller numbers when we find out the HCF in the first step. So first of all we need to take the HCF of 10 and 35. So as discussed we need to divide 35 with 10. So 10 goes 3 times we get 30 and the remainder is 5. Since the remainder is not 0 the division has to be continued. So 5 becomes the new divisor and 10 comes in place of dividend. 5 2 times is equal to 10 and the remainder is 0. So we say that the HCF of 10 and 35 is equal to 5. Now with this 5 and the left out number 50, again we need to find out the new HCF. So HCF of 50 and 5 will be the answer. Now HCF of 50 and 5 can be taken as 5 10 times is 50. So remainder is 0. So we can say that 5 itself is the highest common factor of 50 and 5. Why? Because 50 is a multiple of 5. When 50 is a multiple of 5, the highest common factor for 5 and 50 has to be 5 itself. So this is how we get the highest common factor for all the three numbers. So now we can say that the highest common factor for all the three numbers 10, 35 and 50 is equal to 5. So this is how whenever we need to find out HCF of three numbers, we first need to consider two smaller numbers out of the given three find out their HCF and with this answer and the left out number again find out the new HCF. One more point that I would like to add here is highest common factor is also known as greatest common divisor. Greatest common divisor. So it can also be termed as GCD. So GCD is same as HCF. Highest common factor is equal to the greatest common divisor. Why? Because divisor is nothing but a factor. So either we can call it as HCF or GCD.